Hey guys, happy Friday. It is Fit Tip Friday. So I hope everyone had a great week and what I wanted to discuss with everyone this week is not only a great way to enjoy your workouts a little bit more, but little things that you can tweak right now in your workouts to increase your body's ability to burn fat. And I talked about some interval cardio last week, but I want to put a little bit of a twist on things. So a lot of people, when they go to the gym, they're just going to go in there and they're going to do upper body. They do their sets. They rest in between. Then they finish. Then they leave. Very, very standard. Same thing with cardio. They'll get on their cardio machine. Um, they will just literally just do their cardio for 30 to 45 minutes and then they leave. So how about we combine the two? So here's a great way to not only get your cardio in, but to get your weights in, but also make that workout into nothing but fat burning abilities between the two. So here's what you're going to do. So say that you're doing chest, right? So you do your set of bench press or flies or machine or whatever you're doing. Instead of resting, you're going to do something called active rest which means you're gonna hop on a piece of cardio equipment and whether you rest 30, 60, or 90 seconds, those times that you would be resting, you're now gonna do some cardio, whether it's the recumbent bike, the elliptical, the rower, the step mill, the stairmaster, or the treadmill. Then when you're done that 30, 60, 90 seconds, you go back and do your next set of chest. Then when you're resting again, you go back and forth and literally, you're just going to flip-flop back and forth. You're going to be sweating so much by the end. But here's the other great thing, is that you're going to consistently take your heart rate up and up and up that entire workout. So you're going to burn anywhere between one to one and a half times more calories because of the consistent burn that you're getting between the regular weights and the cardio. So you're going to mesh all of that together. So I want you guys to give that a try. You don't have to do it every workout, but I absolutely suggest you doing that once, maximum of maybe three times per week, just to give your workout some variance uh, and some extra, extra change, which you guys all know, when you change something in your workout, you change something in your body. I hope you guys found this tip helpful. Let me know how it goes. Everyone enjoy the rest of your weeks, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.